Okay, hey guys, so welcome to FGN's new segment weekly tutorial. This is the first tutorial on iMovie for beginners and intermediates. So I'm FGN Cash, and this is the first one. So I'm just going to go over some of the basics that you should be know. So you have three main panels that you should know. This is your event panel, so whenever you import a new um, movie or file, this will be where it shows up. You have many different ones. Events are kind of like folders, so whenever you import a new one, you can put them in a specific folder so it does not get bunched up. You can do it according to date as well, though these dates are screwed up. And then you have this. This is where all your editing goes on. You cannot edit here. It all is over here. And of course, this is where you view it. So for importing, basically, it's right here. New project is like creating a new document on Microsoft Word. This is where you open up your project and start it. New event is basically where you're going to import your different folders and files and movies. And of course, import from camera. If you have a camera or camcorder plug, then you can import it directly. iMovie does pick it up. And just import from movies. Once you click on this and choose a file you wish to import, you, um, a, file, a pop up pops up that allows you to choose. If you want to place it in, in what scene you want to place it and so forth. So that's that. Okay, and I'm just going to create a brand new project right here. And these are different themes and trailers. Uh, themes, they're kind of already set and they have certain themes you can apply in transitions. While trailers are more, they're trailers basically. So I'm going to take no theme. I'm going to leave that to be at 30 for the up. And, um, uh, you should take this off because iMovie adds automatic transitions really badly, so take that off. So we have a brand new fresh project. So to edit, you need to edit here. You cannot edit here. Uh, emphasis on that. You do not edit here. So to edit, you basically take the clips. Oh, bad clip. You can take a whole clip and you just drag it over here. So you can drag multiple clips and so forth. And the most, some of the most useful is if you want to trim this or crop this. Say I don't like this part. All right, so I'm gonna crop. I'm gonna highlight this, and then I'm gonna delete that. So the video, it, it does not show up in there anymore. So I'm just gonna reverse that now. And my favorite is the clip menu. It allows you to slow it down, fast forward it, instant replay. You can fade to. Uh, black and white and others so I'm going to quickly show you that so I'm going to highlight this right here to a really good play I'm going to go to clip fade to and black and white so now you see after a while it's going to go to black and white automatically if you slow it down it looks a lot better so you can slow it down as well so I'm going to go to clip slow motion 50% is like slow it down by half speed I'll uh, slow it down a quarter of the original speed and then a tenth so I'm going to slow it by 50% uh, that did not work. Slow motion. Slow motion, 50%. Does not seem to be working. So we'll try, to, we'll try that right there. Slow motion, 50%. Yep. See, the speed is double. Uh, um, I think the problem with mine was just apply the effect after. So I'm going to apply a different effect right now. Uh, no, it's faded out. So this is how it looks from there from the beginning. And you can see the black and white right there, and then you have the slow motion, and which is really good. That's basically it. Um, you can split the clip. That's basically like dividing it into like this and this. They're two different clips, and of course you can add more clips from here. So I'm just gonna add this right here, and the main and the themes and transitions are. Uh, to open up the panels, you can use a shortcut of Command 4. This opens up different themes that you can apply. So, ripple. So, at the start of this clip, it's going to ripple. So, like this. See, it ripples. It was a little bit slow, but you can see it ripples. You can extend the time on this. It's half a second right now. You can, of course, extend the time. Slow it down. You can, you can apply all these to it. Uh, and, yeah. It should see it ripples. You can apply other ones like doorway. You can apply to the starting. So opens up. These are really good. And then if you if command three takes you to the text. These texts are really good. So you can apply. You apply this on a clip. 
you can change the duration of it and of course you just type the text here here and so forth okay so that's that and command 5 takes you to different animations and backgrounds you can apply so I'm gonna apply this one right there and now my computer is frozen and there we go oh so that's just um thing that's my location bouncing guys so yeah that's where we go and you can also add educational maps and other stuff or you can make it look like it's underwater um, for really cool effects these effects just make it a lot better so yeah that's basically it uh, and finally if you want to export it and finish it up it's here these are your different options I personally use export movie because I can part it to 1080p or you can also choose um, to export using QuickTime but that doesn't work as well especially if you're going to upload it to YouTube um, expert movie is the best option although 1080p takes a long time to render you can also finish your project here this basically if you took uh, if you made the recording yourself it'll stabilize any shaky movements and so forth and make the colors better in RGB and so forth so, forth. so this is so thanks guys for watching this is Cash signing out subscribe like and share thank you